All right, I do not look very pretty, <laughs> but what is up a vlog? Hello. Kaylin and I are in San Diego, and it is, I thought it was Friday, it's Thursday. 6.50 in the and morning. And we're about to kickstart our day with a run, and you guys are going to come with me. And after the run, I'm going to jump into the beach, or jump oh, <laughs> into yeah, the beach, jump Jesus. The beach. Jump into the ocean, and uh, I think the water might be like 50 degrees, so well, let's have some fun. Peace. All right, the calm before the storm. I'm warming up right now. I probably do the same. My back Cat is uh, my back is still very very days. tight. Giving you guys an update from the last vlog. My back is still very tight. Hasn't had much progress at all. So I guess this is 30 or close to 30. You're 28. <laughs> I'm 28. Kaylin's 35. No, I'm not. I'm 29. <laughs> and we're off. We're off. We. All right, we are all done. 2.5 miles. Woo. Woo! Now it's time to jump in the cold ocean. Oh, baby. All right, here we go. Let's go. Come on in. You should just run in, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Here he goes. Cold plunge post run. There he goes. God damn it. All right. Oh, right in. What is he doing? <laughs> Woo! Go, baby. job. All right, Presty crew, we are back from our run. I can't remember if I said this or not, but Caitlin and I are in San Diego for the weekend. Uh, it is my father-in-law's 60th birthday, so I'm going to bring you along for the ride today. But today, we are going to be talking about a very, very important entrepreneurial trait, and that entrepreneurial trait is sacrifice. So we have an Airbnb. We're staying in Pacific Beach. I'll give you guys the grand tour. It is me and Caitlin in here and then my uh, in-laws. So my father-in-law and my mother-in-law. It's two bedroom, two bath. It's a cute little place. This is the living room. Pretty standard living room. You got yourself a little TV action there. Kitchen table. That's where I'm working. That's the kitchen. You come down this hallway. Got a little storage closet there. Got a little bathroom action there. And then <laughs> Caitlin's parents are staying in here, so we put them in here. So they each get their own individual bed. Uh, and then Caitlin and I took the uh, master bedroom here. It's a little bit dirty right now. There I am. Hello, vlog or crusty crew. And then this is our bathroom. Recording in progress. Hey, yo, what is up, everybody? Coach Chad here, the CEO of the Next Level Coaching Academy. And today, we got a killer episode. Restart. <laughs> so this podcast is for you if you are looking to improve your closing rate. Ah, oh, fuck me. Ah, oh, I didn't like that. Recording stopped. All right, vlog. I know you guys are still there. This is the uh, this is the truth. This is the reality. There are some times where you start a podcast and you can't even get out the first sentence. And then there are some times where you are in the middle of a podcast and you're just not feeling it. And you're like, oh, I didn't do good. I'm not communicating this well. So we're going to try again. Oh, let's take a crack at it. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you haven't subscribed yet, we drop shit like this on a weekly basis. A weekly basis. So make sure you subscribe, leave a little review, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. All right, team, we are sacrificing. So like I said, I'm in San Diego. My family is out exploring San Diego. I'm staying back and working. 
All right, these are the types of sacrifices that great entrepreneurs make. And like I said, I I don't want to just sit here and preach. I want I want this vlog to be a documentation. I want you guys to to see the actions that I'm taking. All right, I'm not saying that I'm the greatest entrepreneur in the world. Uh, I'm not saying that I've achieved anything that I feel like I I have the potential to achieve, but I've done some things. All right, I made my first million by the age of 24. I've sold over eight figures in sales by the age of 28. And these are the things that I do, right? These are the things that I do. I choose to work when the family is out playing, right? These are the sacrifices that I choose to make and you guys get to see it. And like I've said, I know that I haven't scratched the surface of my potential yet. I know that there is much, much more to achieve. And I'm excited for you guys to see the long-term gratification of this because in the short term, it sucks. I want to be out with my family. I want to be hanging out with them, but I know the decisions that you make in the short term shape your future. And if I continue to make these small decisions day in and day out, I will have the type of future that I want for my family. So hopefully this is some inspiration. You guys are seeing the shit that I'm doing. I just recorded a podcast. Now we're about to record some reels. So let's keep rocking this day. All right, y'all, this vlog is all about sacrificing. It's 2.30, still here, still working. Been uh, been working since I woke up at 4.30, started work at 5. And outside of the run that I went on with Caitlin, I really haven't done anything aside from work. Um, I wrote two really powerful captions that I want to read for you guys. Um, yeah, bear with me. I, I, think, I think this will be helpful. So... I never worked a corporate job and I averaged under a 3.0 GPA, yet I managed to do over eight figures in sales by the age of 28. How is that possible? Isn't school supposed to help you be successful? Aren't you supposed to work 30 to 40 years before you can make that kind of money? It is possible because I didn't do what I was supposed to do. I didn't fall in line. You see, the path that they carved out for you is the carbon copy existence, one that they designed to benefit them. It's modern day slavery. Go to school, get a degree, get a salary, work 30 to 40 years before you can retire, and then live the next 10 to 20 years of your life on a measly pension and retirement plan. Is that what you really want? Is that your calling? It wasn't for me, and it doesn't have to be for you. I believe everyone was put on this earth for a greater purpose. That doesn't mean everyone is going to be an entrepreneur. That's not what I'm saying. I actually believe that less than 10% of the population is meant to be an entrepreneur. What I am saying is think for yourself. Take a step back off that carbon copy conveyor belt life that you are living and ask yourself, what do you really want? What sets your life on fire? It doesn't have to be a perfect solution or a perfect plan, but at least try to go after that thing. Whether that's starting a business or carving out a role that scratches that passion within a company, try. Because there is nothing more insulting to the gifts you are given than coming to the end of your life and squandering this opportunity to do something special. Oof. That was fucking fire. All right, I got one more for you guys. Lately, I've been feeling so much pressure that it makes me question what I'm doing. Over the past 18 months, I've taken out almost 200K out of my own savings to invest back into the business, laid off employees, asked employees to take pay cuts, had 40K of fraud charged on my business credit card, had two, two of my best lead generation platforms shut down, had staff members quit, didn't pay myself for multiple months, haven't, have asked to make extensions on a $900,000 debt payment that I owe, that I owe, and the list goes on. But here's the thing. I've done over eight, <clears throat> I've done, <clears throat> Jesus, I've done over eight figures in sales by the age of 28, made my first million by the age of 24, and have been fortunate enough to be in this career of entrepreneurship for 10 years. I would much rather, I would much rather have this pressure than the pressure of feeling unfulfilled by a corporate job, being tied down to a corporate schedule, being limited by a corporate pay structure, and not feeling in control of my own destiny. Entrepreneurship is hard, and many times it feels like you're just signing up to get your dick kicked in a thousand times a day, but to me, that far outweighs a normal existence. I write all this to say, if you are fighting this battle, keep fighting. Don't quit. It's worth it.
And at the end of the day, just getting to play this game is winning enough. Wow. I wrote this shit from the heart. I literally have goosebumps right now as I read this. This shit ain't fucking easy, y'all. This shit ain't fucking easy. I want to be out there with my family right now, but I have to be here. I have to be. This is what I signed up for. This is what I chose to do. And I think that the current narrative of entrepreneurship is so wrong and so and so false. And I am so excited to be able to record these videos and hopefully inspire you guys to be a true entrepreneur. Sure, you have the freedom, you have the flexibility, you have the you have the ability to do those things, but I don't think that's really what entrepreneurship is all about. I think what entrepreneurship is all about is is making the sacrifices, is making the hard choices, is is living in the shit 90% of the time. And that's what I'm excited to share. And I hope you guys are excited by this content as well. I hope you're inspired by this and hopefully this opens your eyes to what entrepreneurship really is. That's it for this video. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.